Food is at the center of French culture. And even if you don't care about food, you're not a foodie, you're not a chef, you don't like to cook, it's a fantastic way to improve your French, to add a few expressions about food in your French. All the expressions we're going to see today are in everyday French. They're not vulgar at all, you can use them, they're modern French. And we're even going to talk about la pièce de résistance. If you're a beginner, focus on learning the five French expressions around food. If you're intermediate, add the five synonyms in French so you can expand your French. And if you're advanced, study the examples as well. Don't forget that on top of this lesson, you have a free written lesson in PDF that you can get on communefrances.com. There you have all the vocabulary, extra links, resources, and you can print the PDF. Take notes, keep it with you. It's really up to you. You can share it with friends as well. And also, if you're a subscriber, you get a free email in French to practice your reading skills about the lesson of the day. How to get them? It is completely free. If you're on YouTube, go to the link below the lesson. And then once you're on Commune Française, click on the button below the video and leave your first name and email and you will have access to them immediately. Both are completely free. Bonjour, c'est Géraldine. Bienvenue sur Commune Française. C'est parti. Let's learn some French today. The first expression for today is ne pas être dans son assiette. I do la liaison here, can you hear? Ne pas être dans son assiette. Ne pas être dans son assiette. What do you think that means? Literally not to be in your plate. Okay, did you guess? Ne pas être dans son assiette is ne pas être dans son état normal. Ne pas être dans son état normal. It means not to be in your normal state. Ne pas être bien. Ne pas être bien. In English, it is to be under the weather. To be under the weather in French. Ne pas être dans son assiette. Ne pas être dans son état normal. Ne pas être bien. For example, je ne suis pas dans mon assiette. Ce matin, j'ai peut-être attrapé un rhume. Je ne suis pas dans mon assiette ce matin. J'ai peut-être attrapé un rhume. Our second expression for today is être soupe au lait. Être soupe au lait. What do you think that means? Être soupe au lait. To be a milk soup. This is difficult. Être soupe au lait is a very common everyday expression. It means être irascible, s'emporter facilement. In English, quick-tempered. Quick-tempered. In French, the synonyms are être irascible. It means to have a bad temper, to be uh, easily angry. S'emporter facilement is literally quick-tempered. S'emporter facilement. S'emporter facilement. That's for être soupe au lait. Être soupe au lait means to be quick-tempered in French. Okay, but where does this come from? Soupe au lait is from the 17th century. It's when they were replacing the stock in a soup by milk. Être soupe au lait. And obviously you have to be careful when you warm that. Être soupe au lait, it comes from the 17th century. And it means to be quick-tempered. Être soupe au lait. For example... Pierre est très soupe au lait ce soir. Il vient de s'emporter parce que son téléphone n'a plus de batterie. Pierre est très soupe au lait ce soir. Il vient de s'emporter parce que son téléphone n'a plus de batterie. Pierre is very quick tempered tonight. He just got angry because his phone doesn't have any battery left. If you like this kind of expressions around um, everyday spoken French, you should check out Inside of French. It's my course about everyday spoken French when we also teach lots of expressions around food as well because it's a course on everyday spoken French and I use the medium of food to teach it to you. So we talk about French wine, French cheese, French bread and it's a delicious, fantastic class. Our third expression is en rester comme deux ronds de flan. En rester comme deux ronds de flan. En rester comme deux ronds de flan, it's almost impossible to guess 
because you would have to go back to the etymology of the expression, which is pretty tricky as well. Do you know? En rester comme deux ronds de is to stand there astounded. So it means you're there, you don't know what to do, you're so surprised, you freeze. So these synonyms for en rester comme deux ronds de uh, are être stupéfait, for example, être stupéfait, être muet d'étonnement, être muet d'étonnement, it means you're so surprised, you don't know what to say, être muet d'étonnement. If you want to know more about the etymology, it comes from uh, the coins that they were, they were making before, and it means that the coin was not finished and the, the coin didn't know what it was going to become. So you can check it out. It's an option for the origin of the expression. It's not 100% sure, but it sounds true. En rester comme deux rondes flancs. For example, quand Sabrina m'a annoncé qu'elle quittait l'entreprise, j'en suis resté comme deux rondes flancs. Je n'ai pas su quoi dire car je ne m'y attendais pas du tout. Quand Sabrina m'a annoncé qu'elle quittait l'entreprise, j'en suis restée comme deux ronds de flanc. Je n'ai pas su quoi dire car je ne m'y attendais pas du tout. When Sabrina announced that she was leaving the company, I stayed there, I didn't know what to say. I had no idea what to say because I didn't expect it at all. Quand Sabrina m'a annoncé qu'elle quittait l'entreprise, j'en suis resté comme deux ronds de flanc. Je n'ai pas su quoi dire car je ne m'y attendais pas du tout. Our fourth expression for today is something I really like and I want to teach you today. It's c'est du flanc. C'est du flanc. What do you think that could mean? C'est du flanc. Can you guess? C'est du flan is it's all show. It's, it's not necessarily funny, but it's a joke. It's not true. No one believes that. I don't believe it. For example, you can, you can also say, ce n'est pas vrai. Ce n'est pas vrai. It's not true. Ce n'est pas vrai. You can also say, ce n'est pas sérieux. It's not serious. Ce n'est pas sérieux. C'est du flan. It's all show. It's not true. You can say, ce n'est pas vrai as well, ce n'est pas sérieux, c'est du flan. For example, tes promesses de mariage, c'est du flan. Tes promesses de mariage, c'est du flan. Your promises to marry are a joke, they're not true. It's all show, no one believes that. C'est du flan. I think it's a funny expression, c'est du flan. And at last, I wanted to talk about la pièce de résistance. La pièce de résistance is a French expression that is used in English, but it does not exist in French at all in the way that you use it in English. La pièce de résistance is usually the most important piece of something. And in French, we don't use it this way at all. We say le clou du spectacle. Le clou du spectacle, it means the most important piece of the show. And obviously you can use it not literally, like for la pièce de résistance, you can say it's the most important uh, part of anything. It can be a movie, it can be a book, it can be uh, something you see in a show, anything you like, but not necessarily literally, it can be the most important thing that someone is going to say today. Le clou du spectacle. Le clou du spectacle. Let's test yourself now. How do you say it's all show? We just talked about it. It's all show. How do you say to be quick tempered in French? To be quick tempered. And at last, how do you say to be under the weather? How would you say that? Well, It's all show is c'est du flan. C'est du flan. I don't believe that. C'est du flan. To be quick tempered is être soupe au lait. Être soupe au lait. Literally to be the soup milk or milk soup. Être soupe au lait. To be under the weather is ne pas être dans son assiette. Ne pas être dans son assiette. And as you can hear, I do la liaison. Ne pas être dans son assiette. Ne pas être dans son assiette. Et toi, 
Partage une expression dans ta langue autour de la nourriture. Partage une expression dans ta langue autour de la nourriture. There are so many expressions around food in other languages as well. I'm sure you have a few in your language. For example, en anglais, on dit easy as pie pour dire que c'est très facile. En anglais, on dit easy as pie pour dire que c'est très facile. If you have a question about the lesson, if you want to talk about the examples, synonyms, the expressions we talk about today, please ask. Use the comment area below. It's a fantastic way to ask me questions and I love answering students' questions. If you like this lesson and you want to go beyond just these short lessons, check out my free 10-day everyday French crash course. It's an email course that lasts 10 days, easy to get. How to get it? You go to comeinfrances.com, you leave your first name and email and you will get lesson one immediately. You can also unsubscribe anytime if it's not for you. Join us, it's fun and you will double your Frenchness in just 10 days. Now, if you learned something today, please help me spread the word about Common Française. It's a fantastic way to support my free work. Share this lesson with a francophile friend. You can do that by forwarding the email you got today. You can share the link of the lesson on WhatsApp, by texting your friend, by telling your friends about it. You can also tell your French class about the lesson of today. It's a fantastic way for other students to learn about Common Française. Merci for taking the time to watch the Common Française French lessons. More and more students are learning French with me, so thank you. I hope to see you next Tuesday, à la semaine prochaine, à mardi prochain. I wish you une bonne journée, une bonne soirée maybe, or une bonne nuit if you're going to bed, and I will see you next Tuesday. Allez, salut